Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Sun Microsystems. In this screencast series, I plan to show how JMaki provides a flexible framework to create powerful mashups. In this particular mashup, I will create a real life rich internet application also called as RIA and this application is going to be called as SunTech Days Event Map. All the previous screencasts in this series can be seen at the URL shown in the browser window over here. Let's get started. This application is going to be called as SunTech Days Event Map. It's a real life RIA that is created using JMaki. Basically, this application shows SunTech Days event venues in an interactive web page. The detailed steps to recreate this application are documented at the blog URL shown over here. This application shows several JMaki concepts. First of all, it shows how widgets from multiple toolkits can be embedded on a same page. This particular application uses Dojo Combo Box, Yahoo Calendar, and a Google Map. This application also shows how these widgets can communicate with each other using Publish Subscribe and Actions mechanism as defined by JMaki. It also shows how you can populate the widgets by accessing backend services as opposed to populating them using static data. And last but not the least, it shows how Java Persistence API can return the data as it is understood by JMaki widgets. The screencast uses an application created using the steps described here. Let's see how this application is going to look like when it's created and deployed. Switching to the browser window. This is how the application is going to look like once it's created and deployed. This application has three widgets as mentioned before. It's a Google Map, a Dojo Combo Box, and a Yahoo Calendar widget. This is a rich calendar widget. You can go forward or you can go backward. You can select a date in this widget too. This Combo Box displays the list of cities where SunTech Days is happening for the given month. The month is chosen based upon what value is selected in this calendar widget. And finally, the map shows the location of the city as it is selected in the combo box. Just to see how this application behaves, let's go ahead and select a new month. We select October, October 9th. And notice the combo box automatically updated and it's showing the cities now where SunTech Days event is going to happen during the month of October. Now if I select a different city, this new city is plotted on the Google Map widget. Just for fun, let's go to a more later month and select a different date. Now we are seeing the city where the SunTech Days event is going to happen during the month of January. And if we select it, the city is this time now plotted on the map. This is a fully functional map widget. So if the need be, we can zoom in or drag it around. Let's try to understand what's happening in the background. When we select a date in this calendar widget, it publishes an event to a topic. This Dojo combo box is listening to that topic. On that topic, it also publishes the date that is being selected. Dojo combo box gets that date extracts the month out of it, uses Java Persistence API to query the backend database, gets the cities where the event is happening and refreshes itself. When we select a particular city in this combo box, behind the scenes it goes and talks to Yahoo Geocoder service, gets its latitude and longitude and publishes those on a topic that the Google Map widget is listening to. The moment Google Map widget gets the latitude and the longitude, it refreshes itself and thereby showing the city coordinates. Let's go to a different month, select a different date. It gets updated, select the city, and it gets plotted here. Hope you will enjoy and learn from this application. Let's switch back to the presentation. Before I conclude, I would like to give you certain pointers. JMaki project site is ajax.dev.java.net 
you can also go to jmarkey.com where you will see lots of live samples working. You can download binaries, IDE plugins and tutorials. There is support for both NetBeans and Eclipse. There is a getting started guide. You can see lots of samples on this page. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask us at JMarkey Forum. This application was deployed on Glassfish, which can be downloaded from glassfish.java.net. And finally, these are some of the blogs from the community members. The last one particularly is important because that's where you get the latest and greatest news about Glassfish. Thank you.